here we go. Back pain or neck pain, chiropractic versus surgery. We won't even talk about PT. We won't talk about acupuncture and this other stuff. So don't, don't be like, oh, Dr. Perlman, you left out some options. I'm simply saying, I hear too many people refer to surgery as a permanent fix. And I even hear too many people and chiropractors saying things like, chiropractic will keep you out of surgery or chiropractic is temporary or temporary relief. Okay, y'all are, <laughs> Texas, right? Y'all are wrong. Everybody's wrong. And it's not that I'm right. I want you to start thinking about it this way. Chiropractic can be a long-term, permanent, you know, management of these conditions. That's why a lot of times people will feel better leaving the chiropractor. Their pain is gone. Their symptoms are gone. And then they say, but it comes back. Yeah, it comes back because of neurological and biomechanical faulty patterns and potentially pre-existing, not just injuries, but you know, literal subluxations and compensations within your joints, your spines, your uh, deformation of ligaments and uh, the disc material and pre-existing, you know, potential bulges or herniations, potentially narrowing or reduced space within a area of the spinal column. That does not mean that surgery is a permanent fix. I've seen many times where surgery not only, how about this? Oftentimes, a successful surgery may reduce the symptom that went to the extremity, right? So we're talking about the associated leg or arm pain or finger or foot pain or deficit or function problem that they might have actually needed surgery. But those people, I'm going to say as many as seven out of 10, maybe eight out of 10 come in because they're having back and neck pain, right? Uh, and they still have faulty patterns that they deal with. But yes, the extremity burning or the, the sensory or the motor issue may have gone away or by the time they had surgery, it may have been too late. And it actually is, I don't want to say all for nothing, especially when they've kind of learn to deal with the pain, but oftentimes they're back in physical therapy or rehab or chiropractic long-term. So here's what I want you to understand about chiropractic. Chiropractic is kind of like only as good as something as like, as what you make of it. For example, if somebody gives you a loan, you know, and you just live on that money, it's going to eventually run out, right? But if you invest that money and make it go to work for you and start businesses or diversify your portfolio or find the thing that you're really great at and you put that money to work for you and it lasts a lifetime, well, then that's, you know, you taking advantage of an investment. Chiropractic is no different, to be honest with you. Assuming you find the right chiropractor and the right place, you know, the right combination of, of therapies and manual therapies for you, you are investing in yourself in terms of saying, okay, my pain is gone today, or my pain is diminished by a great deal today. Wow, they did some manual therapy that something happened to me biomechanically and neurologically, and I feel better. Now we have to capitalize on that. And again, if you watch a lot of my material, if you listen to my podcast, big shout out, Shelly, to you. Thank you for that uh, great conversation we had yesterday. Uh, really invigorating. It's a great, it's a great feeling of uplifting, uh, sorry, you uplifted me and my spirits that somebody out there got that much from uh, some of my podcasts. And I, man, I am so thankful. So what I, what, where I was going with that is, you know, I'm all about taking all these other modalities, putting them together to find your permanent, excuse my language, permanent fix. But again, we're not talking about fixing anything here, guys. We're talking about a permanent long-term solution and management by natural means, and there's nothing wrong with that. You shouldn't let a surgeon or a chiropractor or any other person in your life tell you if you get this surgery, it's gonna be a permanent fix. Again, oftentimes it can be, but oftentimes it can actually lead to other problems. I've seen it many times. It's just so invasive. There's no such thing as a non-invasive surgery. Maybe by definition, there is something that is less invasive. It's minimally invasive. They could think of it as non-invasive. I don't know what non-invasive is. There's no such thing as non-invasive. Minimally invasive, you're still getting anesthesia, you're still going under, and your body is still getting, forgive the term, cut on. So guys, I hope that that in a roundabout way, you can reflect on what I have just summarized. There is nothing wrong with it, guys. Like I am a lifelong user of chiropractic 
and it's not because I'm just a chiropractor. I still think it's, it's, it's the absolute best. Again, I stand behind what I do being the single greatest intervention you can do for pain or dysfunction at that moment in time. You need a good chiropractor near you. You need to find the, the person that's going to fit for your schedule and do what your body responds best to. And then you need to do things like Theragun, lacrosse balls, rollers, massage, acupuncture, dry needling, you know, the list goes on and on to find, you know, ice, sauna, <laughs> I could go on and on. People have their routine. People figure out what really works for them and they, they have this long-term solution. And the truth is, we always say it, lifestyle and preventative medicine, right? Preventative interventions, those are the only thing that really prevent disease. Those are the things that are long-term solutions. It's that daily grind, it's that daily good habit that turns into a lifestyle and that's how you prevent the pain from coming back that's how you keep the dysfunction at bay all right guys till next time dr pro